um, we're obviously here to talk about the missing Antarctic ice that's made um, quite a lot of news recently. Can you tell us what has happened? Why is this big news? Yeah, so we are talking about sea ice here. So that's ice that forms in the ocean each year and every year in February. And it's it's got its lowest area and then it freezes through the winter until September. And what's really caught our attention right now is that this winter, as that freeze up happens, um, it's much slower than normal. And by one measure, kind of the amount of sea ice that's been missing is at the moment greater than Mexico. So that's how much less ice we've got than what we should normally have at this time of year. Now, my immediate sort of suspicions are obviously around global warming, um, but that might not be the whole picture as far as I understand. Exactly. And it's that whole picture that that's the important thing. So we do expect um, as the climate warms that there's more heat in the, the climate system, but particularly there's more heat in the ocean. And that would cause um, sea ice to freeze up less readily. And we can see that there is more heat in the ocean around Antarctica now than there has been previously. But as you say, some of the complexities about that are that um, how that ocean heat has been distributed might be partly to do with natural cycles, um, but it's unlikely to be the full story, but it's just very hard to have all the evidence on that. And in addition, we do know that particularly in terms of some of the local changes that have happened. So, for example, west of the Antarctic Peninsula, some of those local changes could be more tied to wind patterns. Um, but the just the extent of the anomalies at the moment are kind of causing quite a lot of climate science scientists to say this looks as if it could be the start of a signal linked to climate change. And would you say this is concerning at this stage? What does this potentially signify? I think it is concerning. Um, one reason it's concerning for me is just that we don't really understand what's going on. And obviously that's always alarming because that means challenges our ability to make predictions um, of the sea ice itself, which is important to understand for things like ecosystems. Um, but also it's concerning because sea ice does affect us globally. Um, and so there are a number of ways in which it does that. Uh, one is that it affects how much heat the um, ocean takes up. So sea ice is a reflective layer on the surface of the ocean. If you take that away, you've got a darker surface that absorbs more of the sun's heat and therefore you're going to heat up the ocean more and the atmosphere more. And we've seen that effect already in the Arctic. Another way that sea ice is important for us globally is that the pattern of um, sea ice and its formation and melt um, affects ocean, the ocean underneath it. So it affects how the ocean takes up heat and mixes heat down. And that's really important for global ocean circulation. And we can see that that's already um, changing. And so as sea ice changes more, um, we could see kind of global effects on ocean circulation. And just finally, then, what will scientists potentially be looking to investigate now to, to get more information about what is happening? So one of the real ones is observations in the ocean, I think. So um, we, it's very hard to observe around Antarctica, obviously. So um, we just want to find ways of, of pursuing getting more observations in the ocean. Um, there's a big um, symposium happening soon called the Southern Ocean Observing um, Symposium, System Symposium. And so they'll be discussing, I think, um, the sea ice part of that will be discussing um, observations. Um, another is that we still don't understand how thick the sea ice is so we we can see how much area it covers but we don't know how thick it is and it's an ongoing question to improve how we use information from satellites to understand that um, and a final one is is understanding further what climate models tell us about sea ice in antarctica